Hey guys, welcome to another video from It's Game Reviews. Based on a video I added up recently, uh, I added up, I uploaded basically a little while ago. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things um, about Steam and how you can sort of create a Steam box. Um, I'm doing this on a Mac. Um, it's the only sort of screen recording software I've got that can record this. So um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing it on. So that's why this is kind of a bit empty. But the principles are all the same. It works the same whether it's PC, uh, Linux, or whether it's um, uh, as I say, this is a Mac. So uh, the things I'm going to show you today are how to change this image, well any image really, but how to change the image that's attached to uh, an icon, how to add a non-Steam game to Steam and how to find and source images for those two things. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we know that we want uh, an image for uh, Team Fortress 2. We're going to go to somewhere on our PC where we don't mind keeping uh, a a folder and we're going to create a folder called Steam Images or you can call it whatever you want, you can call it Flinch Adams if you like but um, something you can remember, something you can get hold of. So the next thing to do is open a browser. Any browser, you can use Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, anything you like. But the important thing is, this is how I do it. Go to Google and go to Images um, and then search for. So we're looking for Team Fortress 2. Okay. Now it's going to bring up tons and tons of images. Some good, some bad, some that we like, some that we don't. The thing that we're looking for is a specific size image, so we need to go to search tools just here on this little sort of widget bar, click size, come down and change the size, well go to exactly and change the size to 460 pixels wide by 215 pixels high, okay click go and then we'll get a lot of images. So if you want to pick a different one than the one you've got, I think I've decided I just suddenly like this one, save that image as, so right click it, save as, call it um, something you, I mean, call it what you like, but just something to it's easy for you to find. If you've got a lot of images, it kind of gets a bit difficult, and I've just saved it to the desktop. And save it to the folder. I didn't mean to save it there. I meant to save it in here, but I've just, just save it to the folder you created, okay? Um, so in here, we've got Team Fortress 2 JPEG, okay? Then, back into Steam, right-click the icon for the image that you want to change, say, set custom image, browse, and then navigate to the folder, so mine's on desktop, Steam Images, and go to Team Fortress 2, click open, and then click set image. It's as simple as that, and that's changed that image. So when we're in big picture mode, that's the image we'll get. Now then, to add a non-Steam game to Steam, uh, it's very simple. You click add game. So again, in grid view, okay, go down to click add game, and click add a non-Steam game. Okay, and then just navigate to where your game is. Now I just downloaded a game called Shadow Era, uh, and here it is. So um, I've done this before. I've deleted it and done it. So I've, I've picked the same game because it's real easy. And then you click Add Selected Programs. Now you could select multiple games and stick them all on. Um, so when you're doing this, like your first time setup, if you've got a lot of games sort of dispersed around your PC, you go and find all the .exes and you click Add Selected Programs. And then that will add a ha ha. Let's remove that custom image a minute. And that will add a box that looks like this. The reason a custom image popped up is because I already had one uh, on. Uh, done this game, put it on here before basically. So the same process, to, to add a custom image for this, same process, first thing we need to go and get the image. I'm doing this twice in case you've forgotten last time. So uh, go to here, we type shadow era, I might find anything I like, uh, an image I like better. Uh, search tools, uh, size exactly, and it's already there for me because so we've just done it, but anyway. Uh, and the only image there was is the one I already had. So save image as. Uh, this time I'll make sure I put it in the Steam Images folder and I'll call it uh, Shadow Era. Very good. That's done. Back to Steam. And then right click, set custom image, browse, find the file. There it is, Shadow Era. Really useful, adding different names. And then set image. And that's it, done. As simple as that. Now, um, something that might happen to you is your .exe might be called shad1, and you don't want it to do that, because when you go into, um, I'll show you actually, when you go into big picture mode, and it's going to take a little while, so I may have to cut here and come back. So when you go into big picture mode, and you've got your icons up, look at this Battlefield 3 one. This is a bit of a weird glitch, I don't know why, it's just it's on a Mac, everything works a bit odd on a Mac. I use this mainly for work, it's not my gaming PC. It doesn't say... Battlefield 3, it says chess, because it is actually chess. And there's a simple way to fix that too. So, um, I'll escape out, 
and hopefully get back to there very quickly. If not, I'll cut this bit out again. It should just go straight back. And it did. Okay. If you right click and click properties, you've got, see what it says chess. If you change that to battlefield, it's, this isn't battlefield, so I'm going to remember to remove it. Battlefield 3, and you click blue, uh, and you click return. Um, when you now go back into big picture mode, again, I'll cut. You will see that your title is Battlefield 3. So if you've got a game that isn't, uh, you know, you've got a different .exe, it says back one or something like that, and it's a non steam game, you can still have things looking nice. I know, like me, I like things to line up and look neatly. Uh, like, I won't be able to use this now because there's graphical glitches. I don't know if you can see them on the screen. Weird images showing up and stuff. I wouldn't be able to use this until I fix that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please check out our other videos. Um, I've got a Daisy series I'm working on at the moment. We just had a little girl, so they're a little bit uh, slow in coming um, at the moment. I'm finding it, find it, find it too hard to find time to play. So um, go to our website, www.igr.me. We really do need your support. We're actually looking for some people to edit the news and for reviewers. So contact me through the site or contact me on the comment section of this video. Um, there's a real chance you could be playing games for free. So anyway, thanks for watching.